Hey YouTubers, how's it going guys? Uh, this is Derek here with another uh, beer review. You gotta keep my voice down a little bit. I have people sleeping just right next door to me here in the other bedroom. But, I have to say I'm extremely excited about this review. I've been waiting for it for probably like, oh man, eight months? <laughs> Ever since I started watching beer reviews on YouTube. Um, first review I probably, or the first beer reviewer I probably watched was uh, J.J. Davin, or Joe D. And uh, I saw him review a beer called Chocolate Bach. And uh, ever since then I've wanted to try it. And look at what I've got. I've got Chocolate Bach. And I'm so, so excited. Um, I know around here that um, you can only pick this beer up I think it was like a 750 bottle. Got some cheat sheets here down here. So I figured um, I should take the time to do a little research on this, considering I've been waiting so long to drink it. I should do a proper review. So um, around here in North Dakota, you could pick this up last year, but this is before I was into the like craft beers, so I didn't try it then. Um, but um, I checked with my liquor store that I buy my beers from. He, the guy, said uh, that. They sold them for around $15 or so, somewhere right around there, for a 750 milliliter bottle. Um, obviously, this is a sad ass. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting a little cold here. This is obviously a Sam Adams beer, which is a Boston Brewing Company, which comes out of Boston, Massachusetts. Obviously, I think everybody probably knows that. 5.6 uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, wait a second here. I uh, see the the research I did on the internet said 5.6, but now on the bottle here it says 5.8. So uh, they upped the alcohol maybe since uh, this research was done. It's obvious. Um, it's a Bach beer. Um, it's a little cold, but I'm gonna still do the review because I can't wait. Uh, I think the temperature for Bach beers is like 50 to 55 degrees, somewhere right around there. This is probably 45 or or maybe a little less. Um, this is a rotating beer, which means uh, they basically the brewery just makes it whenever they decide they want to make it. And um, it doesn't mean that it's seasonal. It doesn't mean that it's year round or like for six months or you know, it's just whenever they want to come out with it. But most of the time, it comes out around Christmas and Thanksgiving in the colder season. Uh, it's a chocolate beer that pairs with a lot of, a lot or most desserts, which is obviously it's a dessert beer. Um, for meats, mostly they're, they're saying wild game and, and red meat. Uh, so that's about all I have for, um, <laughs> for notes for you guys. So I'm going to just pop this open. This thing here, I don't know if you can see, uh, it has a black cap which is kind of unusual for Sam Adams beers. Normally Sam Adams beers has that uh, trademark kind of bluish colored cap. Um, holy crap. Look at this. I popped the bottle open and I'm getting run over on the bottle. That's, that's weird. I've never had that happen before. Beer? Hmm. Weird. I better get the pour in here then. acting almost like it got frozen or, or some some deal like that but I know it wasn't frozen because my fridge was set pretty low shake the bottom and get what I can out of the bottom here and uh, yeah, it must be a, a filtered beer nice and clean on the bottom there let's pop the cap back on this baby and um, that is dark uh, it's got a little bit of a maybe a ruby hue to it, brownish color through. Uh, it's almost like a brown ale, a little darker than a brown ale. Not quite as dark as a stout or a porter. Um, right in between there. I mean, it's a box, so that's probably why. Well, and let me say this before I, uh, I give my review on the aroma. I've heard that this beer, if it's too cold, doesn't release the aromas like it should. Um, 
I'm not getting much of any chocolate at all. It's mostly the um, just roasted malt and a little bit of maybe a nutty nuttiness to it. Uh, so at this point, um, which it may be my fault, this beer may be too cold. Um, the aroma is a little disappointing considering the amount of time I've waited to try this beer. I wish it, it just flowed with chocolate, kind of like the, um, um, I tried the Rogue Chocolate Stout, um, which is my very first chocolate beer I've ever had, so, but from previous people, a couple of my friends that had this last year said this is better than Rogue Chocolate Stout, so let's see. Oh yeah. Whoa. Way, way different than the smell. You definitely get the sweetness right at the front, kind of a cream. Kind of like those little coffee creamers. If you ever been like a weird kid like I was and popped one of them things open and, and tried it, it tastes just like that, kind of. Um, and then it follows through with a sugary chocolate taste. It's so smooth, it's like velvet. It's great. It definitely has more taste than the smell. The smell was disappointing, but the taste is... Man, it's good. I wish I had more of these. I wish that they had these in 12 packs, because I would definitely stock up. Um, I bought the uh, winter seasonal pack. And it came with, I think, five or four different beers. I don't know. I know the Boston and Lager's always in all their, their packs. But I know uh, Sam Adams makes a winter lager. I would have liked to see in the winter lager rather than the Boston lager. But that's just uh, my personal preference. You know, for being... 5.8% alcohol by volume there. You can't taste the alcohol. It's so balanced. It's blended perfectly. The uh, chocolate, it just overwhelms everything. It tastes like you're drinking a chocolate candy bar. I mean, seriously, that's what it does. You get the creaminess and the chocolate at the end. Sugary, sweet. This beer could be a dessert all on its own sit down for um, steak dinner and then, I don't know, drink something with your steak dinner, whatever you like to have with steak, and then um, finished up with a uh, Sam Adams chocolate bot, because I tell you what, it's like a piece of pie in a glass, in my opinion. This is a great beer, great, great beer. leaving a little bit of lacing on the glass, not very much, just a little random spotty lacing. Um, but, uh, I mean, it didn't pour much of a head as you guys seen, and didn't look all that great, you know, right away on, on the first, uh, first impression there. But, after the tasting and the, the texture is great, it's so smooth. I just can't get over how smooth it is. It's like it's like velvet. Um, I definitely give this beer an A. It's a two thumbs up beer, no doubt about it. And um, if you come across the uh, seasonal pack, to pick it up. If you're one of them people that drink just like the the macro lagers out there, you know your Bud Lights, your Miller Lights, and you're curious about Switching over to, um, sorry about that, somebody must have just dropped something here. Switching over to trying the craft beer lines, I would uh, definitely suggest trying some kind of a Sam Adams product because it's a, it's a slow transition. Um, pick up some Boston Lager or, or something like that and uh, just give it a try. It's... Uh, definitely worth the uh, extra couple bucks it costs to enjoy a good beer and uh, chocolate bock 
definitely have to give that a try, no matter what kind of beers you drink, because this is good. So you guys, until next time, you keep drinking beers, you keep loving life, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.